Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to be, uh, start a new lesson. Lesson 15, uh, the topic of the lesson is average. What is average? Average is a single value which gives us an indication of other values or quantities in a group. So, uh, theoretically, average is equal to sum of the values divided by number of the values. So, if you uh, don't understand what average is theoretically, uh, we will go through some exercises from activity 1. Um, after uh, solving some problems, you will get the idea what average is. So, I have taken question number 1A from activity 1 for explanation. Find the average of 6, 11, 13, 9 and 15. To find the average, first of all, what I shall do? I shall uh, find the sum of the values. Sum of the values means I have to add I have to find the sum of these given values. 6 plus 11 plus 13 plus 9 plus 15. Sum of the values, you add the values. And what is the sum? It is 54. You have to do the rough work in the right hand side of the page. So when I find the sum of the values, sum of these values given to me, I have got it to be 54. So sum of the values is 54. Now this sum of the values, this value, what I have to do? I have to divide by number of values. How many values are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, average is equal to sum of the values is 54 number of values how many digits how many numbers 1 2 3 4 5 you have to divide it by 5 you know how to find the uh, division I have how to do the division if I divide 54 by 5 one time 5 4 will come down. It is not divisible. Therefore, I will put one zero. 5 into 0 is 0. 4 is coming down. Now, there is no number to bring down. So, put a decimal here. As I have put the decimal, I can add a 0. So, it becomes 40. 5 into 8 is 40. So, average is 10.8. Like this, you have to do. I will explain with some more examples. Question number 2 from activity 1. The ages of 5 teachers in my school are 32 years, 28 years, 32 years, 28 years, 24 years, 30 8 years and 30 years. So, in my school, uh, the ages of 5 teachers, one is 32 years old, second one is 28 years old, third one is 24 years old, fourth one is 38 years old, and fifth one is 30 years old. So, the ages are 32, 28, 24, 38, and 30. How many teachers? 5 teachers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, first you find the sum of the values. Sum of the ages. Sum of the ages, what? 32, 
plus 28, 24, 38 and 30. If you add, what will be the value? It is 2 plus 8 is 10 plus 4. 10 plus 4 is 14 plus 8 is 22. 2 is carry. 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 2, 7. Plus 2, 9. 9 plus 3, 12. 12 plus 3, it is 15. Sum of the ages is 150. Two. 152 years how many teachers five teachers therefore average is average is 152 divided by number of teachers number of value 1 2 3 4 5 so you have to divide it by 5 if I divide 152 by 5 it is 3 times 15, 2 will come down, not divisible, so 0, 2 again, point, put the point, 4, 5 into 4 is 20, so it is 30.4, average is 30.4. Divide the sum by number of teachers, number of values, and you get the answer. So your average is 30.4 years. Number 3 of activity 1, Radha scored the following marks in an examination. Here one list is given, subject, maths, English, Hindi, science and social science. Marks obtained in maths, she has got 83, in English 75, in Hindi 72, in science 92, and in social science it is 78. Find the average marks, question number 1. So for question number A, find the average mark, what I have to do? I have to add all the values. So 83 plus 75 plus 72 plus 92 plus 78 how much it is it is you have to find 83 75 72 92 and 78 you have to add 3 plus 5 is 8 plus 2 10 10 plus 2 12 plus 8 20 2 is carry, 2 plus 8 is 10 plus 7, 17 plus 7, 24, 24 plus 9, 24 plus 9 it is 33, 33 plus 7 it is 40. So total marks she has got is 400. So, average, average is what? Total marks divided by how many subjects? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, you have to divide by 5. If you divide 400 by 5, how much it is? 40, it is 8 times, 0 is remaining, so 0. So, 80 is her average. Number B, in how many subjects were Radha's marks more than the average mark? Her average mark is 80. What uh, subjects, in what subjects, uh, in which subjects she has got more than 80? It is 83, 92 in two subjects. So, the answer is 2 years. In two subjects, she has got more than the average mark, 83 and 92. Question number C, in how many subjects were Radha's marks less than the average mark? So below average, uh, that is below 80, 75 is less than 80, 
72 is less than 80 and 78 is less than 80. In three subjects, she has got less than average marks. You have to do uh, this type of sums, this type of problems like this. From review exercise, question number six. In a cricket tournament, Sehwag and Lakshman scored the following runs in various matches. Match number one, Sehwag scored 35 and Lakshman scored 45. In number two, match number two, Sehwag scored 58, Lakshman scored 82. In third match, Sehwag scored 82, Lakshman scored 31. In the fourth match, 73 and 79 in the fifth match 91 and 21 and in the sixth match 15 and 99 find the average of each player and whose performance is better so i am finding the average of uh, sehwag first i am adding the runs of uh, sehwag 35 plus 58 plus 82 plus 73 plus 91 plus 15 how many matches they have played one two three four five six so when i added the when i find the sum of the runs of sevak i got a three five four i have added the runs i got three five four Number of matches is 6, so I have to divide 3, 5, 4 by 6. When I divide 3, 5, 4 by 6, I got 59, 5, 9. You can go through the calculations. I have got it 59, so the average of Sehwag is 59. He played six matches, so I have to divide it by the sum by six. Now, I am finding the average of Lakshman, 45, 82, 31, 79, 21, and 99. I have to add the values. If I add the values, what I get, let me check. Forty five, eighty two, thirty one, seventy nine, twenty one, and ninety nine. Five plus two is seven, eight, eight plus nine, seventeen, seventeen plus one, eighteen plus seven, twenty seven. Two is carry. Two plus four is six, six and eight, fourteen. 17, 17 plus 7 is 24 plus 2, 26, 26 plus 9, 35. So it is 3, 5, 7. Now if I have to find the average, how many matches Lakshman played? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, Average of Lakshman, average of Lakshman, 357, this 357, divided by number of matches he played, that is divided by 6. 357 divided by 6, 5, sorry, it is... Uh, uh, 5 so 35 7 will come down it is 54 3 will come down point so it is 6 into 5 is 30 you do the calculation it is 59.5 so 59 and I have got 59.5 for Lakshman this number is greater than this, so uh, uh, Lakshman's performance is better than Sehwag point uh, because this number is greater, so his performance is 
uh, better than uh, Sehwag. Uh, like this you have to solve. It is important from your exam uh, purpose. Go through it. If you don't understand, you can ask me your doubts.